Good morning, students. This is your second class for class five students. This is your second class, first class. We already discussed software and its type, and now today's topic more on Microsoft Word 2010. That is fourth chapter. Okay. Later on, we discuss second chapter exercise, and after that, fourth chapter. Okay. So first, type here Word. Click here and select the blank document. Here it is come. How we will uh, open a randomized paragraph equals to rand colon enter sample paragraph open. Suppose video select the first video and color it. Now select the uh, video, click on format painter and click over make. Look at that video and make a same color. This is the use of format painter. This is the use of format painter. Now look at here subscript and superscript. Suppose you choose this word, it goes down. Then select just this option. This is called subscript. And the shortcut key of subscript is control plus equals to. Okay. This option helps us type very small letter just below the line of the text. Okay. And suppose this word click select the word and click here this is superscript control plus shift plus plus this is the shortcut key of superscript just select the word and click here look at that this is called superscript type very small letter just above the line of the text okay above the line of the text superscript and the subscript small letter just below the line of the text okay finding any element just click here press control f look at here find navigation bar appear suppose we want uh, the words which will be found that is help h e l p help so click here look at that help is highlighted okay so in that way we can find anything in microsoft word clear find and replace find and replace how can you do find and replace i know so the first things you have to do word first close it okay click here replace look at that find and replace find help find the word help and replace with suppose h e l h will be capital h e l p so you click replace or replace all if you press replace one by one replace okay if we click replace all then all the help find it all the help word find it and replace at a time all the help word find first and replace at a time okay this is the find and replace now how can we insert header and footer go to insert tab go to insert tab and click here header choose from anyone suppose blank so you can type here bms okay and you can set here some logos now double click in the listed item look at here bms come 
header look if we go to next page if we go to next page it automatically appears this is called header ok and again we go to insert go to footer option we can use also footer tab look at here suppose we write here bar 1 bar 1 now double click here look at here already inserted bar 1 look at here bar 1 so in that way we can insert header and footer so what is header the header is a section or text that appears at the top margin of document while the footer is used to include some information at the bottom of the page at the bottom of the page ok so the first topic formatting another selection that means format painter definition format painter tools is used to copy and apply text and graphics formatting to another selection ok this is the example video and mix ok subscript and superscript already I uh, define it what is subscript what is superscript find and replace what is find what is replace to find a particular word in a current document we fall we click on find and if we we can also use replace for what for replacing a word ok for replacing a word ok the next topic column break in a document column break in a document shortcut key to insert a blank line in the bulleted or numbered list shift enter we press shift enter first for column break first for column break we go to where layout option yes I know that next column 1 2 3 4 more columns to insert or choose the break option go to break option and click on column look at column break again we choose column look at column break ok in that way we also break the page look at that page break total number of page now it is 4 page page number 4 here we found page number 4 now if we go to break and click on page look at that 5 page number 5 appears so in that way we insert column break or page break clear now we are going to interesting uh, topic that is page setup when we print a document we need these types of setup first thing margin setup ok click on custom margin and set here the top left gutter bottom and right and here we can also set the paper size and layout ok the first things margin top margin if we increase the top margin then click here if we decrease the top margin then click here left margin that is the left margin space between the paragraph and the left line of word so in that way we can set the margin and paper size when we print any document normally we print 
in A4 size paper. Okay, A4 size paper. Clear? Okay, in that way we can set margin. Look at here, the margin increased, or we can set also from here. Okay, left indent. This is called hanging indent, left indent, and right indent. And also we set. Look at here. Click here and set the right margin also. Okay. So, increase indent, how can we increase indent? Indent, what do you mean by indent? What do you mean by indent? You can adjust the space between the text and page margin. Okay. Text and page margin, we can adjust the value. Okay. This is called indent okay how can we increase the indent how can we increase the indent go to home tab and this is decrease indent and this is increase indent look at here increase and look at here decrease okay this is the margin left and right margin clear Okay. Now, next is how can we print a document? Go to file, click on the print option, set the page, first select the printer. How many page? Choose from here how many page? If you print the whole document, then this will be correct. If we choose the current, current page, then choose from here and must we must choose the paper size A4 okay, and click on the print button. Clear? Now, we are entering the space. Look at here, this paragraph space is very small. Now, how can we increase the space? Look at that. Here we can click and increase the space, isn't it? Okay. Look at here, increase the space between line and paragraphs also. Between line and paragraphs also. Or we can say it right click over blank area, select on paragraph button. Here from here we can also set the space. Look at here. This is for this is for paragraph spacing and this is for line spacing. Look at if we choose zero for line and paragraph also single. Look at that. The space is decreased. Clear? Okay. So in that way, we can increase and decrease lines space and paragraph space. So, uh, the summary of the of this chapter, first things which is copy formatting, second thing subscript superscript, find and replace, okay, insert column break, page break, indentation, okay, increase decrease indentation and paragraph settings. What so, uh, this is the whole uh, chapter topics. Today, I will try to do it in computer using screen recorder. Okay. So, you just practice this, practice in your laptop or desktop. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.